traders at Axis Bank expect the bearish sentiment of the bull market to persist even longer due to thinning liquidity. Meanwhile, at the TBL's market, demand is centered around the shorter end of the curve. Chukunonso, if a job for Treasury team member at Axis Bank, joins me now for more market updates. Chukunonso, thank you so much for joining us on the show today. Let's talk about the highlights of the midweek uh, TBL's auction. 303 billion naira subscription rate. What has happened since then? Okay, thank you, David, for having me. Um, as at Wednesday, um, the um, DMO offered um, 303 billion at the um, NTB auction. Um, it is worthy to note that 303 billion was the same amount that matured. Um, at the auction, subscription stood at um, 1.5 um, trillion. Um, we saw um, bids skewed towards the 364 day maturity. And at the close of the auction, um, we, saw, um, uh, we saw the rates close at um, inch up higher by 19 basis points, um, 210 basis points and 467 basis points for each of the standard maturity. That is for the 91 day, 182 day and 364 day of maturity. And so rates closed at 5.9%, 8% and 13.97%. Um, um, post auction activities were muted um, because of the thin system liquidity that pers persisted. But um, as at um, yesterday, um, we saw um, interest coming back to the market. Um, the activity market participants started showing bids, and um, we saw bids for the long um, detailed um, views at around um, the 12 to 13 percent. And um, what we are expecting, we are expecting the FAC inflows today. And uh, with um, the inflows, we, we, we do expect to see it, a change in the trends. Mm. And we're expecting the fracking flows like you've highlighted to come in today. Well, in terms of what to expect in the coming week, what should we have our sights fixed on? Okay, um, with um, the um, FAC inflow coming in today, um, we expect the, um, the, um, the markets to trade uh, more actively. Um, for the money market side, we also expect um, the OPR and overnight rates um, to decline um, because um, as we stand now, markets, uh, uh, the market is a bit elevated, um, posting between 22 to 25 percent. Um, however, with the FAC inflow coming in today, um, we will see a reversal of that trend and then the OPR and the overnight rates um, would um, also decline. And do you think investor lenings will continue to remain around the shorter end of the curve? Take, for example, the bond market? Okay, um, so for um, the bond market, um, interest has, um, inter interest remained uh, muted after the auction as uh, market participants' um, focus has um, been on the um, NCV. However, we see the FAC um, inflow as a big changer in the market. Um, we, we should begin to see uh, more interest on the longer detailed bonds, um, the 2054s um, to be um, precise. Um, currently, the rate has over around um, the 15 15.9 to 16 percent and um, but with the fact inflow we believe that um, there will be a change and then uh, markets should trade more actively. Chukun Onso, thank you so much for your time on the show today. That was Chukun Onso, if a job for Treasury team member at Access Bank.